What is a laser cutter and when should I use it? Unlike 3D printers, which slowly build a three-dimensional model layer by layer, laser cutters are machines that etch or completely cut through flat materials using a carefully focused laser beam. Sometimes, there are projects where either machine can be used. For example, you can both 3D print or laser cut earrings, depending on the style of what you're going for. But laser cutters are best for projects that require complicated cutting or etching you couldn't easily complete by hand. What types of materials can be cut with the laser cutter? Because laser cutters burn surfaces while cutting or etching, only approved materials can be used on our machine. Those materials are paper, cardboard, acrylic, which is also known as plexiglass, raw wood, and non-synthetic blend fabrics, like 100% cotton. These materials can be up to half an inch thick and should be no larger than 22 inches by 34 inches. What type of file do I need? Laser cutters require vector-based files, which are files that aren't made up of pixels, but points and lines, to properly cut. Specifically, Ours requires files to be in a .dxf file format, which stands for Drawing Exchange Format. We recommend using Illustrator to create such files, and you can learn how to use this software through professional video tutorial services like lynda.com. Inputting your settings. While laser cutting may seem complicated, you only need to worry about two main settings, power and speed. Think about them like this. When setting power, you're telling the machine on a scale from zero to 100%, how strongly you want the laser beam to perform while it's cutting. When setting speed, you're telling the machine how fast or slow you want the laser head to move while it's cutting. These two can be thought of like inverses of one another. High power and low speed should give you clean cut lines that go all the way through your material after one or two passes. Low power and high speed will etch more shallowly, allowing you to decorate or mark the surface of materials without cutting all the way through them. Specific settings tend to vary based on the type of material you're cutting and how thick it is. Check out our material tiles on the wall to see what we recommend. Now, what if you need to cut and etch within the same file? First, separate out which sections of your material you'd prefer to scan, which means to fill in, versus cut by using the software's color picker. Giving each section a different color means that each will become its own layer with its own independent power and speed settings so that you can customize exactly what happens in each place on your material. Setting up your materials for cutting. When beginning a new laser cut, the first thing you'll need to do is autofocus the bed. Before cutting, make sure your material is completely flat by securing the edges with blue painter's tape. Once your material is secure, close the door, then move the laser head to a starting position on your material using the machine's arrow keys. Turn on the air filters directly below you by pressing the power button on the taller air filter. Never cut without both filters running. Checking and removing your cut. Before removing your material, Give the air filters a few minutes to clear out any remaining smoke. Then, check to see that it cut by moving it just a bit. If it did, feel free to grab your stuff.